welcome to our Biz Designer tutorial. In this how-to video, we will show you how simple it is to create your customized buttons and status graphics via import of images and status rules. These are important features to make your app extraordinary and absolutely personal. Okay, let's start with the import function. In addition to the large base of included images in different styles, you can completely customize your app with your own images by importing them to the image catalog of the Miss Designer. You can import images in the formats JPEG, PNG, SVG, or GIF. As you can see, I have already prepared something for you in the Miss Designer. This is an iPad remote based on a floor plan. You can see is the ground floor page here. We have the first floor page and the next page. Side view, um, just to show you the navigation, it's just like clicking here, so the first floor and back, and yeah, ground floor and back. Okay, so a simple example for a floor plan navigation. To show you how the image import works, I will import the floor plan images as these are always individual. Well, I did it already as you can see here, but I will do it again to show you how the image import works. To create floor plan images, you can use any graphic or drawing tool and save them, for example, as PNG files. To import them, just open the image catalog. To do that, just click on any icon and then go to the properties and then open here the image catalog. Go to the import tab and then click choose file. Then you can select one of your images, just the ground, ground floor PNG, open it, you can see it in the preview. And then you can enter names for type and style. Although this is not mandatory, this is helpful because it generates a sorting structure. With type and style, you create um, direct directories in which the imported images is stored. Um, so the images are sorted in folders and you can find them more easily. Without entering type and style, the imported images will be stored under this lens. So let's you see there is already a name. I enter a new one, demo, more plan, and then import it. Now you can choose next image the first floor again demo floor plan imported choose the side view png open it and import it now you can move to the images tab and select under custom the new folder demo floor plan and now your three images must be, I will change the background. The three imported images are in this folder. Now you can assign them to elements in the remote. You see, importing images is very easy. All imported images can be used as background images for pages and pop-ups, as well as for buttons or for image elements. Okay, so much for the import function. Now we turn to the very important topic of creating individual status visualizations by using, we call it status rules. So what are status rules and why do you need them? Let's start with the basic explanation of the general logic, how states are visualized 
with images. Generally, a status icon is a set of images. One icon for each of the different states of the device. For example, on and off for a light bulb. The Viz Designer provides a wide range of predefined status icon sets for the most common value sets like on, off, open, close, and so on. But if you want to create status icons with your own imported graphics, or the values of your device don't match with the predefined status icons, you can use status rules. More precisely, by using status rules, you can define which image will be displayed for which status value. As a result, you can assign a status rule to a remote element, a button or an image, placed on your page. So this element will show different images for different status values according to the defined rule. Oh, okay, so much for the dry theory. Let me now demonstrate this with an example that will make things much easier to understand. As an example device, I will use a window contact because I want to indicate the window states in the floor plan with green and red dots, as you can see here. So the green dot indicates closed and the red dot will indicate open. To create a status rule, you have to select an image icon or a button icon with an assigned device and select the image catalog and go to the status rules tab. This device the window door and window contact, you see it here, the door and window contact in the library has been assigned. Okay. To add a new rule, click on the button here, the plus, and enter a name, for example, window state dot. You can save the rule now. And you can see it, okay, it's a new item in the list. What do you have to do next? Now you have to define graphic state pairs. One pair for each status. So each rule consists of any number of such graphic state pairs. A graphic state pair defines which image will be displayed for which state. Okay, let's do it. Now you have to select the status type. Undefined means, for example, if no status is available, for example, if the device is disconnected. Or the type value. Values can be very different depending on the device. Um, they are transmitted in form of numbers or strings, such uh, as, for example, on, off, true, false, or one, two, three, five, five, uh, five six, seven, up to 100 for dimmers. The entered value must be identical to the original technical value status. If both the technical status and the entered uh, value matches, then the assigned image will be displayed. To find out the correct original value of a device, they are listed below. True and false for the door and window contact, which has been assigned to the um, graphic element. So let's explain the other types. Interval. You can enter an interval from 0 to 10, for example. Or a set is 
a set of more than one values which are assigned to uh, one image. Empty text, if empty text is provided, and the type regular expression is um, a very special thing for advanced users. That would take too long to explain, um, but if you are interested in this option, please check out our documentation about that. Well, in our little example for the window contact, I will use the set type. Why? Because I want to make sure that I can use the same status rule for all window contacts, for different window contacts, which provide, for example, different values like the one that provides true false and the other one open close and so on. So I enter uh, true as first value, then close, second and closed, third. And for this set, I select next device, the close is green, the green dot. Add it, and as you can see, the green dot will be displayed if the true close or close value occurs. Now I have to do it the same way for all the other states of the device. In the example, it's just the false value. So again, set type and false and open, third opened, again, select an image, now the red dot, apply and add. Okay, you see the red dot will be displayed if false open or opened occurs. Finally, you can define an undefined icon. Color buttons, but under general maybe Let's select white pen, dark patterns, so you can see it better. Um, where is it? Where is it? Here is it. Apply and add. Then save the rule and assign the status rule. Now you can check the preview. Okay, the undefined icon is displayed because no device is available for the preview, but it seems to work. Close the preview again. Of course, you can um, use the same rule to assign them to all the other window contacts in the remote. Because they provide the identical state values. Last but not least, I would like to point out that you can also create status rules not only for images, but also for text elements. Because normally the original technical value will be displayed as a text status. For example, on off locked, unlocked, true, false, not so nice. In case you want to create your customized status text, you can use text status rules as a useful option. For example, if you have a water sensor, you can display for the value true the text, attention, water alert, or whatever you like. Since the logic is very similar to image status rules, 
I will not explain it in more detail. As you've seen, status rules are a very flexible and powerful tool to create an absolutely customized status visualization or text indication. In order to raise the app layout to a higher level, in my opinion, this function is extremely helpful and lets you generate stylish effects easily. All right, that's it for now with this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Have fun using our amazing wrist designer. Bye-bye.